real, folks. We have criminals in control of our nation robbing us. They are so ruthless and so cunning that they know it's going to cause rioting and revolution. They don't care. They're all buying duchies offshore. And by the way, I know quite a few billionaires. They evacuated years ago. They know what Gerald Salente knows. They know what we know. This is the court of the Crimson King. By the time this is done, a lot of blood's going to flow on the streets. And I'm not looking forward to it. And all you foolish petty tyrants that serve the system, I really feel sorry for you because California's already going bankrupt, as Gerald predicted on the show eight, nine months ago. Uh, Gerald Salente, you're getting into the new mega bubble, a cascade of failures, starting a war. Let's get into that. Uh... Because as bad as this news is, it's better to know it's coming. I mean, if I lived in a valley and somebody called me and said the dam just broke, you'll be in 20 feet of water in 10 minutes, get out of there, I'd be, I would thank them that I could get to high ground. We get bitched at because the delusional public thinks, some of them, that, oh, we'll just be positive and, and if we just make up it's okay, it'll be okay. They'd rather l not be warned that the dam just broke upstream, Gerald. Well, that's it. I mean, people are living on, on uh, illusion. They don't want to face the reality. And, of course, this is a, a, you know, a, a Disney world, and yeah. uh, people do live in it. Well, we're talking about the war, Alex. Of course, you know, we're not saying that this is going to happen. We're saying it's likely to happen considering the trends that are taking place. They're adding up to it. Each time, again, that's why we're talking about one bubble after the next. With each bubble, they reinflate it to a bigger bubble, to yet a bigger bubble. And then when there's nothing else left to do, they become emboldened by their failures, and they take you to war. You go throughout history, and it's, this is historical. They do it all the time. They can no longer cover up their failures. Well, that's what Rand Corporation says. They say, World War II got us out of the Depression. We need something that big. And they look at Korea. They look at Iran. They discuss, where should we start a war? My God. Uh, well, what do it, you looks, it looks like at this moment, and from listening to President Obama, he's putting a lot of focus on Pakistan. Yeah. And we're seeing what's happening there as the war is being prosecuted. And, and of course, they're you know, and it's, they've escalated the Afghan war, put in a new commander, and McChrystal, and it's spreading into Afghan. And it, there's a, there's a crisis going on over there now in the Swat Valley. Over a million people who have been homes have been uh, they're, they're displaced. And so what happens is this is a very logical progression. The more people you kill in foreign countries the more they hate you, and the more they're going to want to retaliate. So what we're, we're forecasting is there's going to be a retaliatory strike against the United States coming out of the Middle East as a result of our escalation of wars in those areas. What will happen is they'll call it terrorism rather than getting it even, getting even, and they'll blame it on people that hate our liberty and freedoms, and they'll escalate it into something bigger. It's an old story, and it will be repeated. Just the players will change. The lines will be almost the same. So, so we're talking we're about encirclement of Russia, Pakistan, India, Kashmir, with uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan escalating, North Korea out of control. You can just see all the fires all over that, 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 that crescent there from, from Eastern Europe all the way uh, into uh, Southeast Asia. I mean, this is just horrifying. What's, what's your timeline on this? Well, again, it's very difficult to put a timeline on these because, you know, for example, in our we had we had predicted that the crash of '09 would have taken place already. We believed it would have happened in March, and it was right on schedule to do so. The market hit a low in Mar on March 9th. But they come up with schemes undreamed of. Who would have thought, for example, as you pointed out, that so much has changed with this country, where now we own General Motors, we're 
donors of this com- company? Who would have dreamed that they would be pumping $12.8 trillion into the system? Unbelievable. Gerald Salente, stay there. Quick break, long segment coming up. Uh, and we'll give out his website as well for everybody that wants to check it out. So get a pen and paper ready. This is the GCN Radio Network. I am Alex Jones, and again, we have 30 minutes left in this transmission. Stay with us. Alex Jones here with a question. What does humidity mean to you? Most people think of hot and sticky summer days, but many people are beginning to realize that humidity can be a valuable source of pure drinking water. That's why I'd like you to visit acolablue.com. Acolablue is a state-of-the-art atmospheric water generator producing purified drinking water from the humidity in the air using reverse osmosis and a five-stage carbon and UV light filtration system which produces great tasting water at an unbeatable price. Finally, drinking water that you control. I use one every day. Say goodbye to expensive water delivery services and storing five-gallon bottles of water in your home. The Ecola Blue 28 is shipped right to your home, ready to make close to seven gallons a day right out of the box. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call Ecola Blue right now at 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue at E-C-O-L-O-B-L-U-E.com today. We're going to have Gerald Salente back up in the next month or so. He's very busy to discuss ways to get out of this. The problem is the establishment isn't listening and doesn't care, so how do solutions even matter? Well, I guess once we overthrow this system, the danger will be that some new tyranny will be brought in, as Ron Paul has said. we got It's very rare to have a revolution that doesn't turn into something as bad or worse. That's why I'm not all raw, raw revolution, unless it's what the founders did. It's so special what this country did. And I want to talk some with Gerald before he leaves us about that. Uh, but before we do that, I want to tell you about a sponsor that's made this hour possible, survivalcbank.com. Folks, uh, these are just great folks, the people from Solutions at Science. And uh, they have the Survival Seed Bank. Great prices, high quality, non-GMO, non-hybrid seeds. These are heirloom, 877-327-0365. Plus, gardens are fun. I mean, I've got a garden no matter where I live. I live I have a little bitty backyard, and I've got a garden with tomatoes and stuff growing. And, uh, you know, my aunt and uncle got a huge garden. My parents have a big garden. It's just it's just wonderful. Your kids love it. Get high-quality seeds. The big seed companies, Monsanto and others, are buying them, these companies all up on record, building big secret seed vaults that have been in the news, so they're not too secret, trying to get a uh, control over agriculture, trying to create a monopoly, trying to shut down the farms and ranches with the National Animal ID and National Premise Society. They're raiding Amish that are selling uh, their own milk or people selling eggs and watermelons on the side of the road are being SWAT teamed. I mean, you can't make this up. Just Google farmer SWAT team. They want us to be live in a big prison like Stalin had in Russia. And a great place to fight back is survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com or 877-327-0365. 877-327-0365. And one final sponsor I want to tell you about is Home gain. You can go to this website. It's absolutely free. Enter in your home address. I used this site before they were sponsors. Okay. They've been around for 10 years and you put in your home address and it gives you the real market value that realtors are really looking at for your home. It's got another function where you enter, uh, you know, your home and, uh, basic information or use a mock home example and they tell you the cheapest, easiest upgrades to do that will increase your home's value, the best for, uh, resale. And they've also got stuff for uh, buyers. So it's uh, all there at H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com, homegain.com, or just check out Max Little Orange Gorilla on Infowars.com. That's their mascot, and that is the uh, mascot for homegain.com. Going back to Gerald Salente. Gerald, uh, tell folks about your website and how they can subscribe uh, to get your uh, great trends uh, forecast journal. Right, it's trendsresearch.com. That's trendsresearch.com. And what we encourage them to do is to look at our past trends journals. For example, we have the top trends of 2008 that they could look at, the whole journal. And they could judge for themselves. The motto, of course, of the Trends Research Institute is think for yourself. And so they could see what we have forecast, what has come true, and what's going to happen. And many of what, much of what we've written is in the headlines news today. 
And about the things to do, by the way, in survival, I'm a, I'm a strong believer, uh, in, and I do it myself, is I buy gold. And we, we are forecasting gold 2,000 an ounce. And you can see, again, current events form future trends. We can see they just sent Timothy Geithner, our Treasury Secretary, over to China to try to sue them, soothe out the deal because the world is starting to unload dollars. You can see, for example, again, current events form future trends. Gold is now moving back to the thousand dollar an ounce mark, crept up very quickly. The dollar is again losing against the key basket of currencies. Several months ago it was one twenty four to a euro. Now it's about one forty two. So the world knows that you cannot print phantom money out of thin air based on nothing and producing practically nothing.